it's, it's amazing to be in the situation today to think about what will happen in two months. What will be the game-changing thing? Will it be the Apple Watch again? Or is it just an additional thing which is coming up and uh, we are talking about growth rates of uh, 10, 20, 30 percent? Or is it really the big boost which is coming? We understand from all of the experience we have, the 70 years history that the Adidas brand has, that fitness is not just an end game, it's a journey. It has its highs, it has its lows, it has its fun moments, and it has its, its pain and its tears. Um, and in the digital sports part of the business, we're here to help people get along through that journey. Workout trackers or exercise trackers or fitness trackers. But what's interesting is when you look at those two categories together, um, they basically have a little bit of the same kind of inherent issues in that you can't really wear them all the time, right? So if, if we talk about smart glasses, for example, there's some social connotations. Um, you're going to have to charge it. You're certainly not going to wear it when you sleep at night. product in just a little bit more detail. What does this mean for the end user? And these are sort of the big wins. This is where the patient comes in and I should say that throughout this process we've absolutely focused on the patient. The patient has been central in everything we've done. So for the patient, no more routine fingerprints. This is, this is huge for them. It means that their fingers are no longer sore and calloused. In conclusion, what I think about the future of hearables, you know, I see a convergence between hearing aid technology and hearing aid, uh, hearing aid technology and hearable technology because they're both really trying to do the same thing. How do we provide value to someone who's wearing a device at the ear level? A lot of people have asked me, you know, why do we deal with one or two person startups? Well, that disruption is tearing, those are the barriers on the side before, is uh, we're seeing an era where a lot more impact can come from all over the world, from all different size companies, and uh, it will have to be kind of in, in working with those, those people to be able to be part of it. That's where my intrigue lays today for further innovation. I'm in particular responsible for wearables. So we started last year. There was a big discussion in our board what to do with it. So we set up a project on an international level and thought about what to do. So we asked ourselves exactly the same question. Is it a hype or is it the next big thing? So one of the great things about coming to a conference like Wearable Technologies is you meet a variety of people. You, you meet innovators who are starting companies. You also meet very well-established companies like Intel. You meet uh, providers of technologies. Maybe people aren't developing the wearable technology, but they're enabling them with things like printable batteries or you know uh, manufacturers like, uh, like ST. It's amazing how much the wearable WT has grown. It's very, very exciting. The San Francisco WT conference, uh, that was the first time we had an opportunity to really explore kind of a wearable technologies focused uh, conference and it was just a really great conference and when I was invited to speak here at the Music 17 conference, it was just a no-brainer. I was very impressed actually with all the participants. Uh, the innovation in the field is clearly picking up. I think it's, it's, it's key see that there's of course miniaturization, there's a lot of computing, but also people are really thinking on the exact use cases. <laughs>